off. <laughs> Watch the ball as it drives back in. The head pin goes to the sideboard. The same friendly kick as the messenger comes on, takes care of it. And excitement. Walter Ray Williams Jr. trying to make it 29 first place finishes to 30 seconds. His goal to even that up, and I wouldn't bet against him. Loves to pitch horseshoes, chess, computers. Right now, trying to stare down all 10 of those pins standing up. Well, fortunate he knocks wow. the five and the eight out of the two four. It was the bucket for a while, a difficult spare. Now it's just the two and the four. It shouldn't be any problem for Walter Ray Williams Jr. Again, very difficult to win back to back tournaments out here on tour. Walter Ray has an opportunity to do it. Well, it's, it's just tough to win any tournaments out here. There's a lot of talent, very, very deep, and Walter. He takes care of the two and the four. You know, he throws the ball very straight <laughs> and almost chops the two straight back off the four. Monticelli will stand up in the ninth frame, down by 25. He can cut it into that lead with a strike. Desperately needs this one. Here she comes, the same one. He's getting a bunch of those. Head pin off the sideboard, right into the 10 pin. And we've got ourselves quite a final match now. 15 pin advantage, and Monticelli will finish this match first. What a great reaction. Oh, yeah. Again, thank you. Possible 242 for Monticelli. Possible 247 should Walter Ray Williams strike out. Well, Monticelli needs two strikes in the 10th frame to force Walter Ray to get two. He needs the first strike in the 10th frame to, to make Walter mark. Well, that'll force him to mark, Phil. You know, when talking with Brian Voss earlier, we discussed how the lanes weren't very accommodating, but these two great champions have figured them out. We take a look. Monticelli trailing by five with a strike here in his second ball on the 10th. That would become a plus five. Monticelli, second ball in the 10th frame. Once again, a possible 242. But Walter Ray still has an opportunity to step up there and win it. Hurry up. Did not get off his hand the way he wanted it. He leaves the 10 pin, breaks the two out of it. Right now, count doesn't really mean that much. If he makes this, it's 231. If he misses it, 230. Walter Ray would just need to make a mark with good count in the 10th frame to win. Nice effort by Atlanta Monticelli, and it may be good enough. We don't know yet. Uh, Walter Ray Williams needs a mark. 231 for Monticelli here in the title match. Needs to fill 15 pins in the in the 10th frame, so an eight count spare and seven. That's 15. Any way you can do it, he'd like to strike right here and get it over with. It's going high. Able to kick it out. Very fortunate. There's your champion, Walter Ray Williams Jr., 29 PBA titles. Back-to-back -back championships for Walter Ray, 29 titles. Finally got the ball to hook. Come on. Uh, almost hooked too much, Walter. Needs five pins on two balls. I think. Well, I think I think he can take care of that. And Paige right now is smiling as it's just the four pin. So Walter Ray Williams Jr. is the winner of the National Finance Challenge. We're not done yet. We have another match coming up.